co-valedictorian Avery Juan will now give her valedictory address. Good afternoon, Mrs. Tennyson, Mrs. Hayes, Dr. Dresden, Mrs. Collins, trustees, faculty, parents, friends, and the graduating class of 2016. It is an honor to speak to you all on this special occasion. A few weeks ago, for the first time in the 13 years I have attended Sacred Heart, I visited the observatory. My classmates and I have often talked about going, but it was not until the last week of classes this year that I finally crossed this activity off my Sacred Heart bucket list. We spent an hour looking at stars and learning about how the moon was formed. At the end of the night, I remember feeling a great sadness. It took me 13 years to experience and appreciate this special place. This brings to mind a story we have all heard, Shel Silverstein's The Giving Tree. A selfless tree graciously offered a young boy everything he wanted, branches to swing from, apples to eat, and shade to rest under. As the boy grew older, he began to seek more and more until there's nothing left of the tree but a severed stump. When the boy is an old man, he returns to the tree. The tree says, I have nothing left. The boy responds, I don't need very much now. The story ends as it started with the boy and the tree enjoying the simplest form of friendship. Although this story speaks to the power of giving, it also makes me think about the importance of appreciation. I see the boy as taking his whole life to realize how fortunate and loved he was. So in the end, his return to the tree symbolizes for me not only a reciprocation of that love, but also a recognition and gratitude for all the gifts given by the tree. Like the tree, Sacred Heart has given me many gifts. Every day, I was lucky to come to a place where I was surrounded by compassionate and intelligent classmates and was afforded many opportunities for self-improvement. It was not until the end of my career at Sacred Heart that I fully realized how truly blessed I am. Each one of us has had the great opportunity to grow up in a Sacred Heart environment, and every single experience we have had here has been instrumental in the development of our characters and values. Through the late nights we spent studying and writing essays, we learned how to persevere and think critically. Through the countless hours of community service we have completed, whether that meant going on service trips to New Orleans or Lourdes, or serving at a local food pantry, we learned the importance of giving back to the community. Through the moments of laughter and joy we have shared, like when we went to the Mets game or talked with one another in the core center, we learned to not take life too seriously. Our experiences here have shaped who we are and given us the tools to be successful in whatever endeavor we may choose. We must realize how lucky we are to have been part of the Sacred Heart community, because Sacred Heart has given each one of us an education, a support system, and a vision of how to truly make a difference in the world. Our years at Sacred Heart have always been about so much more than our education. As stated in the mission statement, Sacred Heart seeks to educate women to have independence of judgment, personal freedom, and strength of character so that they can become leaders with broad intellectual and spiritual horizons. Every member of the class of 2016 is talented, creative, and passionate. Each one of us aims every day to think beyond the self and help those around us. I've seen it in small actions, like the support we showed each other during the ups and downs of, the high, school, of high school life, or in larger actions such as the work we put into researching major societal problems for senior seminar. Sacred Heart has done its job well. This class is made up of individuals who understand who they are and are not afraid to be different. For example, we are the first class to participate in the Ethics Bowl. We are the first class to have two students be invited to the White House for their research regarding the effectiveness of organic soil enhancers. We are the only class during Spirit Week to dress together to all dress together in the same goth theme. The class of 2016 is not afraid to question tradition or expectation. Each one of the women on this stage is willing to forge her own path, not afraid to embrace all the qualities that make her unique. It is now our turn to enter into the world. 
But just because we are moving on, we will not forget all that we have learned here. We are women who have been molded to become leaders, and part of leadership entails the process of discovery, finding something new in what we may have looked at a thousand times before without understanding. I want to believe that the boy returned to the tree because he finally recognized how much the tree had sacrificed for him. Thus, he wanted to show his own love and appreciation. As we move forward, we must realize that we, like the boy, have to act on a new understandings. In the coming years, we will learn about many injustices that members of our world face. We must be motivated to action. As Mahatma Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Society is counting on us. Let us become women who set great examples for those who love us, those who will depend on us, those who look to us for support, encouragement, and wisdom, and those who will follow us. As graduates, we face many uncertainties in both the immediate and distant future. For some of us, next year will be the first time we've ever attended a school other than Sacred Heart. And in the times of worry and stress to come, we must not forget the bonds we have formed here. The friends we have made at Sacred Heart will be friends for life, and so we will never be alone. We will always have a tree to which we can return. Each one of us should have the courage to dare and have the belief that we can succeed. As J.K. Rowling once said, we do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all the power inside ourselves. I cannot wait to see how we will transform our world. Thank you.